Hey Pisces, I hope you're all doing really great. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation, which is perfectly okay. And it also means that the roles in this reading can be reversed. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of October and the first card out we have signs okay so it could be that you are receiving a lot of signs a lot of messages possibly even getting some downloads as to what might be happening so this is really a time period for you to trust your intuition trust the signs that you're getting from the universe all right now I'm also getting that a person that you are dealing with might also be getting their own signs as well so let's get into the tarot and actually See what is going on here. All right, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the last couple of weeks of October 2022. I actually just saw um, the Judgment card, all right? So that to me is also a confirmation of these signs having divine messages, divine synchronicities occurring at this time. All right, Pisces, let's see. For the situation, we have strength crossed by the hanging man. All right, okay, so this is Leo's energy. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Of course, it doesn't have to be. So there's an issue surrounding possibly courage, maybe even compassion for some of you, or just having the strength to have compassion possibly for another person. This could be you, this could be them. Um, whatever it is, though, it is um, revolving around courage and it does feel like you know with the hanging man being in the challenge position it's sometimes a little bit difficult to either have courage or it could even be difficult to take a step back and see something from a different perspective or to just let things be so we'll get more information when we clarify as to what this is about um for the recent past we have the two of wands all right okay so there is some kind of a standstill here possibly somebody um trying to make a decision but being torn between two different paths or between actually taking action or holding back all right just like i said with the hanging man so i feel like yeah there is some kind of passivity here let's see for you we have the ace of cups and the three of cups all right so definitely a lot of love um, here between you and another person and what i'm getting here is that you actually want to have some kind of a reconciliation with somebody here or you know you just want things to be happy you just want things to be light but i am seeing it more of wanting to come into to reconnect with somebody let's see for them we have the page of pentacles and the ten of cups yeah so this this love actually goes both ways here all right you have the ace of cups they have the ten of cups so there is a lot of love between the two of you and i feel like this love is very genuine and i feel like that's why there's also a lot of signs and a lot of synchronicities that are taking place um it just seems like the issue here is somebody having either the courage or either the confidence to take a step here to do something and I do kind of get um, a th that it's a little similar to Scorpio right so maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio because we did have the hanging man um, it was actually in the recent past but even this two of wands it's it's giving me a similar vibe to that hanging man of you know just something being passive not really acting on something and it feels like it's because of a lack of confidence all right for for some of you so again, this could be you though, or it could be your person. Let's see what is coming up for you. We have the Page of Swords, and for them we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, interesting. So for some of you, it could be that you're actually reaching out to the other person, or it could be that you are finding out something about the other person. But the other person's energy at, in this particular um time frame is the knight of cups so what it is that you might be finding out is that this person actually you know either wants you to come in or that you or that the other person is actually taking a step towards you either way it does feel like there's some kind of interaction between the two of you here with the page of swords and the knight of cups 
So let's actually clarify and see what is happening here. Because it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty light so far. But yeah, <laughs> we'll see when we clarify. Um, this is definitely giving me the message though that there is a very strong connection here and that there is true love between you and this person. If you don't feel like that is the case for you, then you know this might just not be your reading and that is okay. So let's see, for the strength card and the hanged man, what is this about? Three of swords, the eight of cups, and the five of pentacles. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is this is similar to, to Scorpio. So definitely let me know what sign you're dealing with. I'm always curious to know. Um, there's, I mean, <laughs> this is this is pretty painful. Um, yeah. It, I mean, again, it does look like things are pretty good, like in one aspect, but then there's another aspect here. I almost knew this was going to show up like this, where there's a struggle. There is some pain here, all right? Um, because it feels like there's loneliness here between the two of you. So I get that for the most part, there's not much contact, or if there is contact, it's still in a way where it feels like it. there's a lot of pain. Um, there's a lot of feeling lonely or just feeling abandoned maybe even for some of you. Okay, because we also have the Eight of Cups, so it feels like there's this forced detachment that is taking place here. That's how it's coming in. Um, it feels like, you know, things are, things have been passive. It feels like there's a lack of confidence um, on somebody's end, and that's why it's, it's almost like there's this, it's like you're being forced to detach or they're being forced to detach, something along those lines. And it's, it's pretty hard, it feels pretty painful. Let me see this Two of Wands in the recent past. And I if I remember correctly, for Scorpio, we have the Magician um, he here in the main situation. And I, I related that to the Solar Plexus Chakra. And I also get the Solar Plexus Chakra as being an issue here um, with the Strength card as well. Let's see the Two of Wands. The Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so there was a lack of action is basically what this is about. There was a lack of action in terms of coming together, in terms of coming back together. So I'm getting that for some of you, you know, this could be a situation where, you know, you were getting together, but then there's like this holding back from that. Um, just this action that is being delayed in some way or somebody just not being able to fully commit to this three of cups, to this, okay, you know, like we are coming together and this is just, you know, what it's going to be. It's like that was not what was happening here. Um, I do also get, like I said, I feel like a part of the challenge for one of you is to really, um, have the strength to see this from a different perspective, which that might sound easy, but it's actually not. It's not because sometimes, you know, we see things from one perspective and, and that's it. And we allow that to just affect, you know, the whole, the whole situation or to affect our emotions about it or to just really um, dictate our thoughts. But sometimes there's another perspective that is also true, not saying that the initial perspective is not true, but sometimes there's also another perspective. And if we can tap into that, it can just make things so much easier but it's initially hard to do that. So that's what I'm getting here. And, and I don't know if that is concerning your person to see things from a different perspective or if it is from you to see things in a different way where it might actually help you to have like, you or them to have more compassion actually and to understand where the other person is coming from or you know whatever is happening, how this might be affecting the other person. So, okay, let's let's move on. Let's see that Ace of Cups for your energy. 
Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely, like I said, you know, you're feeling genuine, pure love towards somebody here. And not only that, you know, this is a situation where you would actually want to have this Ten of Pentacles. You want to have this stability and long-term commitment with them, but there's some kind of fear here, almost like feeling like this is never going to happen or that this can't happen or that there's just too many obstacles in order to get there. But I feel like, you know, that's actually, you know, just the way that you're thinking about it, there's something here that you might be missing and maybe that's the whole thing about seeing things from a different perspective. Maybe you can feel free to connect the dots however it makes sense to you. Let's see the Three of Cups. The Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I, I'm getting that there's um, something here to do with, you know, how much you feel like you can give or how much you feel like the other person can give. So again, I feel like this is a connection that you, you really, really want, like you want to be with this person. But there's something here about, you know, maybe having, um, feeling like you can't give or you can't receive evenly with the other person. And it actually comes in as possibly you even wanting to talk about this with this person or um, somehow wanting to make this known is what I'm getting. It's like you would want the other person to know exactly what it is that you're feeling, even if that has to do with, you know, you feeling like there's this obstacle to having that ultimate um, connection or commitment with them. But again, I feel like there's something here that you're thinking about that is limiting you. It's like it's keeping you back from being able to, to do that, even though that is what you would want. So, Pisces, I don't know. We will, we will see, because I feel like we're going to get um, a message here for you with that page of swords, okay, when, once we get there. So let me just take a look at what's going on with the other person here, and then we'll, we'll get back to you, actually. So let's see this page of pentacles for the other person's energy. And we have the king of wands and the nine of wands. All right. This person is actually struggling with something here. They're struggling to just really um, deal with, the, I feel like it's struggling to deal with this situation. For some of them, it could even be a different situation, but I feel like this is somebody who is really pushing through this particular connection, like really trying to overcome the challenges that have been presented to them through this connection and through this experience. And it's not something easy. And I feel like they actually are overcoming what it is that they are meant to overcome. And it's almost like, it's kind of like they're almost there. You know, they're almost at that point where they are achieving whatever it is that is needed in order for them to be in alignment with their own higher self, which will ultimately help the connection as well. So it does feel like they are on their path. It's just that it's been, it's been, like a long ride for them as well. So you might feel this for yourself. Well, this person is also feeling that, that it has been a long ride, that it has been a struggle, but I do see them overcoming these, these issues or the obstacles that were presented to, to them. It's like, you know, there's a lot that they have learned and there's also a lot that they are still learning, but they are on that path. Let's see the 10 of cups. The Page of Pentacles and the World. All right, so that's the second time that we're getting the, the Page of Pentacles for them. So yeah, there is a lot that this person is learning um, and it doesn't feel like it has been easy lessons, but whatever this is that they're learning, they're learning a lot about love. They're learning a lot about unconditional love, about genuine love and whatever that is and whatever you know it is that happiness kind of like revolves around. So I still don't understand exactly what the issue is here between the two of you and what, what exactly has been going on, but these are the messages that 
um, if this is resonating with you, that you are meant to hear. So for this person here, there's like a major achievement that they are moving towards in terms of whatever lessons it is that they were meant to learn here. Whatever that is, it's it's pretty big, all right? With the world card, this is closing out a cycle. This is something coming to an end. It's, it's a completion. So when I say end, I don't mean the end of love. I don't mean the end of a connection. I don't mean anything along those lines. What I mean is that it's a completion. And I'm, with the Page of Pentacles showing up twice, I'm getting that it's a completion of lessons that they have been learning. So it's like throughout this whole experience, whatever it is that they've been doing, whatever it is that you've been doing, whatever it is that has been happening in the dynamic between the two of you mutually together, they've been learning a lot about love and about the challenges of love as well. So that is reaching some kind of a major, major milestone here. So let's get back to you a little bit here. Um, Let me see that page of swords for what is coming up because I feel like that's actually going to um, kind of tie everything together here. So page of swords. The six of cups and the seven of cups. Yeah, something needs to be cleared up here. I feel like there is some confusion um, and this could actually be why it's very difficult to... Um, how do I say this? It's, it's almost like there's some kind of a misunderstanding here between the two of you where it feels like one person is like maybe not understanding so much what the how, what the other person's perspective is or what the other how the other person might be experiencing this. And for some reason, I feel like that is like a missing piece to this puzzle between the two of you like that is once that is sorted, that is something that is going to help the two of you out a lot. Um, so what I get, and again, I'm not really sure whose side that's on, and to be honest, it doesn't really matter, but what I am getting here for you is that this is going to be cleared up. You're moving in that direction of clearing that up, and what Spirit is trying to say here is that, you know, being honest, you know, when you do have the opportunity, speak your truth. Speak your truth about how it is that you feel and about what it is that you want because I feel like there is something that you want here and you're not expressing it fully because you feel like, okay, well, this is just impossible anyway, so what's the point? Well, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it, there doesn't have to be a point, really. Like, there doesn't have to be a point. It's For whatever reason, I'm seeing here, you're, you're encouraged when you do have the opportunity to actually speak your truth and because that is going to help to clear up the air Speak how, from the heart how you feel about this and what it is that you truly, truly want. Because I see there's a lot of love here. Um, yeah, and I feel like that actually needs to be expressed in some way. Now, if you feel like you've already done that and this is just somebody who's not like, you know, um, reciprocating or just not interacting in that way, you know, then definitely trust your own intuition. You know, maybe this reading isn't for you. I feel like if this reading is for you, you will know. So let's see this Knight of Cups, because I'm definitely seeing that this is somebody who feels the exact same way about you, all right? I just feel like, you know, there's um, something, something's, it's going to help when somebody is able to see things from a different perspective and when the one person understands where the other one is coming from or what the other one is experiencing. So let's see the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Okay, see? Like I said, definitely there. this is somebody who feels the exact same way about you. Um, so what I see this person moving towards is really getting on this new path of fully embracing their own emotions. Um, you might be dealing with another water sign, all right, as well. We do have quite a few cups here just showing up. Um, let me see if I see any other signs. You could be dealing with any sign, but I'm just um, particularly picking up on water signs, okay? That's what I'm getting here. So, um, I see this person actually being open emotionally to you. So, I feel like, you know, if you do, when you do have the opportunity and you will know when that time is right, okay, and you do speak your truth, I see this person being very, very responsive to you from the heart and emotionally, so that's the message here. And I do feel like, you know, once that happens, it's like it's opening up a new pathway. It's opening up a new door. 
So I feel like the two of you actually are in this coming into this alignment where, you know, you can speak your truth. Like you will be given that opportunity to express how you feel because maybe you feel like you just weren't given that opportunity for some of you. And then this person, I see them also coming in towards you. So it's like you're both meeting each other and they too are open emotionally and responding in that way. From, from the heart is what I mean when I say in that way. So yeah, it actually looks pretty positive. I feel like, you know, those were the messages that needed to come through at this time. So thank you so much for watching and much love.